Hey, today I'm gonna to show you how to get a good grip when you're doing a low bar squat. There are two things that are really important. One is gonna be how wide is your grip. That's gonna dictate your entire setup. You know, are your shoulders gonna be in a good place? Is your thoracic spine gonna be extended enough? The other thing that's really important though is the engagement of your wrists. You don't wanna have completely relaxed wrists. You need them to be engaged somewhat. One, put pressure on the bar, and two, to release any of the stress that's gonna be on the back side of the wrist. So let me show you what a good setup looks like. Anywhere usually for most people between these rings and the center knurling, people who are smaller, less muscular, um, maybe tighter, are going to have to vary their grip, whether it's wider or more narrow. Um, for Gustavo, this is the perfect width. And the other thing that we're looking at here is his wrists, right? So he has them engaged. He's using these flexors of the wrist to put pressure on the bar. And now, if he didn't do that and he was too relaxed, his wrist would be bent like this. It puts a lot of stress back here. Um, this is the case a lot of times if your grip is too narrow, the only way for you to get it in a good low bar squat position is to break the wrists. But if we're too wide, what ends up happening here is that we, instead of putting pressure so much here, it's such a wide angle for the wrist this direction that will put too much pressure on the inside and that will cause you pain as well. So you've got to play around with your setup to figure out where that right grip placement is for you. Usually for most people it's going to be between that powerlifting mark in the center.